Good morning, everyone. It is currently half past ten in the morning. I've been up since about half past nine. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to go out because I uh, need to get some essentials today. Um, get some more food for me and Kim and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go to the shop, get some little bits and pieces, and then come home. I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Um, Oh yeah, we've got someone coming around for a Moses basket, and then we've got a sweet delivery as well at four o'clock. Um, and I'm quite excited for that to be fair, so, so that should be a really good when that comes. And then yeah, apart from that really, we ain't really got much else planned for us today. I think we're, go- we're all going to stay in really, apart from obviously me going out now. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to try, try and play some video games, but I realised something yesterday. That this all this time, me complaining that I don't play video games. I've been playing Animal Crossing literally every single day for the past like God knows how many weeks. And I forget sometimes that that's even a video game, so I don't know how I've managed to forget that that's well, to be fair it does make sense that I forget it, forget that it's a video game when it's so when you're basically just paying off debt uh, to to a psycho raccoon, so it might as well just basically be be real life, so yeah. Uh so I better get off and get get started with my day then. Uh, I've just come outside, which is obviously I'm just in front of my front door, and um, there is no ants at all, which is quite a surprise. So, quite happy about that. Um, so, that stuff that my landlady sent us yesterday seemed to have worked. So, I might be onto a winner now, and we might actually have no more ant problems. And hopefully, then, well, just hopefully we don't have any more issues because I can't be bothered dealing with ants anymore. But there's a few. Coming out of um, wherever I live and stuff like that, but apart from that, no, there don't seem to really be too much, too many about. So I'm quite happy about that. So I was going to do a bit of a shopping today, um, because well, I wasn't expecting it to be really busy, but surprisingly enough, it's rammed absolutely everywhere, which is pretty insane. So I don't know what I'm really going to do today. About doing getting some shopping because it's a bit ridiculous how busy it actually is, because. The market's actually on as well, which is blowing my mind a little bit, so I'm not sure what to really do now. So we'll see how today goes, really. So I've just got home from being out, and I am absolutely red hot. I wasn't able to really film when I were up, because like I said earlier, it was extremely busy, and I had my hands full. Um, I had a cactus in one hand with this new yard, yard brush for, this, for the courtyard that we needed, um, which I'm going to obviously use to actually clean up the courtyard a little bit, because it is looking a bit of a mess at the moment um so i'm gonna do some tidying up on it today i've got some gloves and stuff inside that i'll show you in a minute once i'm finished with all that as well and yeah so been pretty it's pretty warm today as well like i obviously you could tell i was wearing a different jumper um not too long ago because i was wearing two jumpers when i went out because it was pretty mild when i went out this morning but sun's come out and it's absolutely scorching now so i am absolutely sweltering swelteringly hot there we go jesus i can't speak i'm that hot so yeah, I'm going to get in and have some food because we've bought fish and chips for, for me and Kim as well. So, I'm going to eat that because I am absolutely starving. So also while we're out, actually, let me, set, let me get this off. Uh, so yeah, while we're out on my travels, um, I bought us a new cactus as well. Wait, because I love cactuses. We've got another cactus over there in the corner uh, of, the, of the window, which is in a teacup. There we've got... This thing here, which I cannot for the life of me remember the name of. I don't think it's even got a name on it either. No, I don't. I cannot remember um, what the hell's in it. Sorry, I'll just turn my head then because I had a message. I've also got this plant behind me, which is our peace lily that we got a few weeks back. And then we've got a neck behind this, which you've probably seen a few times, but I haven't really spoke about, is our Porpheus Mar- Marbles, Marbles, Marbles. Yeah, marble plant. <laughs> it's got a proper name, but I can't remember what it is specifically. I think it says on it somewhere as well, but it does, I think, doesn't it? I thought it did. <laughs> uh, but and it's something like that. It's Perthius marbles or something like that. I'm not too sure, but it's an absolutely gorgeous plant. And hopefully we'll get in the terrarium at some point this week as well, which I'm quite excited for, because we get all... Most of us plants from the same person, and we go to this, one, uh, this lady called The Plant Market, who's on Facebook and stuff. The cactus we got from... Um, B and M. Uh, the other two that are on the windowsill, we got them from a um, like a yeah, yeah. Like no, yeah, brochure, want it? Yeah, like a like a show kind of thing that they do every year. Obviously, they're not doing it this year though. Um, 
and then obviously it's big well it's marble and this big boy um peace lily a front plant market um so yeah like uh, we're trying to slowly but surely get more plants oh yeah forgot about that i always said the orchid as well but we got from b m as well a few weeks ago so we've got two two plants from b m two plants from the plant plant market lady and then two plants from the you got Harvey fair so we, we're spreading out evenly but soon the plant market lady's probably gonna have about 100 plants in our house so I'm quite happy about that and I cannot actually wait to have more and more plants. So I'm actually sat down now, I'm going to have my food actually in a minute. Um, but I thought I'd show what I actually bought while we're out. Um, we've got us some grape soda. Mmm, grape soda. We've got us three for a pound, which I'm quite happy with. Uh, get them out of there. And then, got Kim, some good old orange Luke said. And some... Pruning thingy majiggies for cutting the garden, basically. Cutting the hedge. Well, cutting the hedge, garden, whatever. Just to make it a little easier. Some garden ingles for myself. Put them there. Some garden ingles for Kim. Which, kind of Animal Crossing looking, because she loves Animal Crossing, so I thought I would. A wrap for myself for later. So, uh, a garden trowel. So we can actually dig some stuff up. Yeah, dig up the massive ass weeds outside. And then... Flappy Jackies, because can't, can't be some good old Flappy Jackies. Um, some marshmallow shower stuff that were reused, so I thought I'd get it for Kim. And then... Some... Uh, God's sake, I had to put that bag down then. Some hand... There we go, hand sanitizer, which were only one ninety nine surprisingly enough, it was pretty cheap. Yeah, basically water in a bottle. And then, last but not least, milk. You can see me. Milk. There we go. So yeah, that's literally everything that I bought while we're out. So I got a decent bit, to be fair. And that was an absolute nuisance to all carry all that back, especially when there was fish and chips as well in the bag. So my arms are absolutely knackered. I feel like I've been at the gym all day, even though I have not had a single day in the gym in my entire life. <laughs> so Kim's already disappeared from next to me, because... Her food on her plate basically just <coughs> disappeared and I'm convinced it actually teleported to another Come universe. Star, oh, she comes into scene. <laughs> so yeah, her pl this is my plate, right? This is currently what's on my plate. The fish, chips, there was chips here, but I've eaten them. And Kim, she got a hoover <laughs> and made it all disappear, which is a fucking magician. And Eve is here as well at the moment. Do you want to say hello, Eve? Eve, It's the first time you've seen Eve today as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say hiya? No. Nah. She's due a nap soon. Yeah, she's due a feed and a nap soon, so I think she's off the bed. Oh, she's clapping her dandies mm -hmm. though now. Mm. She's clapping dandies. Bless her. So yeah, don't think we're really going to be doing much for the rest of us day, really. Like I said, we've got, a, we've got a delivery coming at four. And we have someone coming at one as well uh, to pick up a mother's basket and some, uh, some little, some like mattress covers and stuff like that as well, so... That, uh, so once that's done we're early, then I don't think, <laughs> don't think we're doing much with us today. Hopefully, hopefully, gonna play some video games. Probably what though, because it, it never happens when I say it's gonna. But we can try, we can try. So the person that kept, was coming to get the Moses basket and the tablet and the mattress and everything has just been and gone. And uh, it turned out he actually watches the vlog, so hello Sam. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, just in, now we're in Evie's room because I'm doing some, um, just some little bits of change around in here and stuff like that for Evie. Uh, it does look quite tidy in there for once, which is kind yeah, of a surprise. Tidy, yeah. yeah, yeah, I didn't say I bloody tidy it. <laughs> I didn't go, I did all this. I just went, it looks tidy for once. Uh, but yeah, so it is really echoey in here as well. I didn't realise how echoey it actually was. It's quite bad to be fair, so I might actually look at getting some pictures for the walls and stuff like that because of how bare it is in here it might actually get rid of the echo echoiness because there's that bit down there as well that's where kim is and evie is down there as well she's in a cot yeah but that's like a little cubby hole bit where her cot is and everything and the laptop is and everything to keep an eye on her and stuff but like it really is echoing here it is really really bad so it probably explains why it gets quite cool cold in here as well sometimes on a night so might have to have a look at getting some pictures at some point in the near future. 
So, finished doing Evie's room, and as you may be able to hear in the background, because I'm having to basically shout over it, is uh, there's Peppa Pig on in the background, because what I've done is got her laptop there, so then we can keep an eye on her, connected to the TV so that she can watch stuff on it, and then we can obviously use the second screen, which is down there, just to keep an eye on her at all times then. Because uh, what we do is connect to that directly, and then we can keep an eye on her, but we can now put her in a cot and just let her watch TV without us having to watch it basically and having to be put through the torture so yeah it, i'm quite happy with how it's turned out and uh hopefully she enjoys it and actually watches it but a minute she's just turned around and she's just looking at us through the bars so for those of you who've been watching my vlogs for a little bit now for like well the last week or so um know that i've been i play animal crossing pretty frequently um and i'm playing it at the moment and I've been trying to sell my turnips, and if you know Animal Crossing, you know turnips are, like, the biggest thing in the game. And I bought my turnips for 102 bells, and I've downloaded this app that tells me, like, the stock prices, basically, for my turnips, and how they, they're going to increase and decrease and stuff like that. And, um, I ended up, I've ended up with the decreasing, um, turnip prices for this week, and it's just dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping, so I am not having any luck with turnip prices. And I'm asking my friends... Um, if they could, if they've got any decent price or anything like that, and it seems like everyone's in the same boat and having problems. So, oh god, Marina's asking me as well if she can leave at the island, and Kim's no. face just dropped because I was. And Marina is um, Kim's favorite character. My favorite character is Cube on our, on our island, so we're not allowing them two to leave. The specific ones we want to leave, well, not want to leave really, you but mind yeah, wouldn't mind them leaving to try and just replace them and get some better characters. Um, but the wrong ones just keep asking that, and I don't understand why they want to leave. We give them the best life, except they and they just want to leave. So I am so disappointed in some of them. So I'm now upstairs in my um, computer chair, and uh, I am sat at my PC, which is obviously just there. And Evie and Kim are just over there on the bed. <laughs> and um, I've just finished uploading it in the video, which is uh, just there on that screen. Wait. Wait, where's my finger? Yeah. Finger. Oh, the... Ah, there. <laughs> As if it took me that long to get my finger pointed the right way. But yeah, so, um, just uploaded that now. That's just literally finished uploading. Um, Gonna be going up for five o'clock as always. Got it ready to be premiered and everything. I need to do... Waiting, literally gonna sit here probably and wait until it's actually upload... Um, wait till five o'clock, because it's currently... Quarter past four. Uh, so I might as well wait here until five. And then when it gets to five, I might as well just do all my sharing and stuff like that in all my groups that I'm in and stuff like that. Because most of you guys are from those groups uh, that watch these videos. So thank you for coming from those groups. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, um, once I've done that, I think I'm going to play some games, but I'm not quite sure what I want to play yet. As you can hear, Kim laughing in the background because I mentioned me playing video games and it just never happens. It's like blasphemy. It, I used to fucking be able to play like... God knows how many hours a day, like 10 hours a day, easily. And now I struggle to get like two minutes in and I don't understand how. It's like, I look at the time, it's like I'm like half past 10, 11 o'clock. I look at time again, like now, and it's quarter past four. I'm like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> so I don't get it. I'm a bit confused by it. So hopefully today goes slow, even though it's not and it's going really, really fast currently. I'm just hoping the evening just slows down quite a bit so I can actually do something with my evening and actually play some games for once. But probably won't be able to, but we'll see. So we've had a um, delivery of sweets done now. Um, it's been about a few hours actually since we had it. But yeah, we're well dark because window's behind us. So yeah, we've got a uh, delivery done. And um, it's by um, a guy that we knew, used to know from high school. Uh, both of us, but um, it's, it's a company called Tr uh, Sweet Tradition, and um, they're based in Meadowall, if you know Meadowall at all, if you're from the UK, um, it's like a big shopping centre kind of thing, or if you're American, shopping mall, <laughs> um, but yeah, so a minute everything that's going on, obviously, he's just doing home deliveries and stuff like that, so I thought I'd show you guys what we actually got, um, we got, we don't even know what's in here, well yeah, we've got this box here, which has got like, uh, I don't even remember like what we got. it's a mega mix of sweets basically. Um, like I think it's got sour and gummies in it and stuff like that. And then that in the bag there is um, some pop darts and some marshmallow fluff. So the other two things that I forgot. Well, yeah, he didn't forget them. Um, he just sold out of them. 
Um, and um, I had to, and we were supposed to get some cherry Mountain Dew and uh, do, 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 do. Well, something else. I can't remember what else it was. Um, but they, um, he couldn't, uh, didn't have them in stock, so we didn't get them. So I'm going to get them next refund. time anyway. We got a refund though. Yeah, we got them refunded and everything like that. So I'm quite happy about that. So yeah, um, we'll have a look um, inside the box and see what we've actually got in here. So this box Ooh, was about. Nice yes. So this box. Obviously, it's covered up as well. It was £15, pounds this box. Awesome. And you can get two of these boxes for 25 quid, I believe it is. Oh, oh, one of the lollies is stuck. There we go. Wow. Hell. That's really, really good. So, this is what you get in the box. So Sweeties. You get a hell of a lot of sweets. What is that? It's a flick and lick. Oh, that's really cool. They're really old school. It smells <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. So. I remember getting those for like... 5p at your local shop. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Wombas, lollies, bloody, all sorts, fangs, uh, cola bottles, whales are they? Oh no, no they're, they're, the they're the dolphins. Oh yeah, the big dolphins, aren't they? Yeah, bonbons. Uh, co cola bottles, bloody a bit of everything really, watermelons. We've been spoiled. Yeah, we've been <laughs> spoiled basically. So I'm quite happy with all that, but most of that is for Kim. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I ordered that specifically for you because you prefer hot gummy stuff. And what's in this bag? One second. I was going to just... Oh, you fell. <laughs> I was going to hold you like that because that makes it that little bit easier, see? So, I got... <laughs> you hear Evie in the background. Yeah, Evie's just like, ooh, what you got? Oh, she's being, being nosy all bloody time. So, we have got some marshmallow fluff. Oh, wait, but strawberry. Strawberry flavoured mm. marshmallow fluff. I have had this before, but Kim's never had it before, so I thought I'd get it so she could try it. I've had, obviously, normal, normal marshmallow fluff. Normal. 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 Got to be fancy with it. Normal. Um, got um, the, obviously, the what normal uh, original version before, and that stuff's gorgeous, but this stuff is uh, so much nicer. To be fair, though, you're supposed to use it on, like, smalls and stuff like that, but I literally just take it straight out of the tub and eat it with a spoon because I'm an now absolute psycho. Now coloured with vegetable juice. Mmm, vegetable juice. <laughs> and these are the things I'm excited for. So I've got some pop tarts which are frosted uh, natural cho uh, chip cookie dough um, pop tarts, and they look absolutely gorgeous. I've never had um, cookie dough ones before. Uh, let's get this off there. There we go. Never had the uh, cookie dough ones before. I've never really seen them either, so I'm quite happy with them as well. It, there's apparently um, stone cold tarts as well, which kind of concerns me, and I don't have a chuffing clue what they are, but they look weird as hell. So yeah, anyway, moving on from them. And um, we've got two more extra things in here that I ordered. And these are the... Mi Laffy Taffy. Yeah, Mysterious Laffy Taffy. And there's um, jokes on every wrapper. Uh, they're really hard to read, Jesus. And the mystery ones have a mystery swirl. So it's got two flavours, it says it's there. Uh, mixed in with it, basically. Uh, like, all the way around. And we've got, obviously, just got one each. And these were just 50p each. I think that were, like, £4 or something like that. And the marshmallow fluff, I think, were, like, £2.50 as well. And... Like I said, them, them two, and to be fair, the Laffy Taffy, I am very rare, like, like I said, never seen them. Uh, I see that maybe once every blue moon, and them I saw once in my entire life in this country, so <laughs> I'm quite happy that I'm able to get them now, just being able, basically, basically, I'm delivered to my door, so it's even more of a bonus. So, as well, I will be leaving a uh, link in the description below if any of you guys want to uh, actually buy any of the stuff or anything like that. It's all through Facebook and stuff like that, so it will be a Facebook link, so definitely do check him out because it is really, really good, and as I said, it, it delivers straight to your house as well. Um, obviously, it depends on your location and stuff like that. But also, when all this is all over... You can um, go to Meadowhall. Yeah, you can go to Meadowhall and just go to the shop itself and, obviously, you can say hello and buy some stuff and stuff like that and say hi. Tell yes. them we recommended you as well. Yeah, tell them we sent you because we might get more free stuff, <laughs> even though none of this was free. Um, we might get free stuff. Yeah, free advertisement. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you to... Um, to sweet traditions for all the sweets. The guy that owns it, you know who you are. So thank you very much for all of it. And uh, yeah, hope, hope you guys actually do buy some of this stuff because some of it is really, it's really good. It. And the menu obviously is on his uh, page and stuff like that. So um, if you ask him, ask him for it or message on the page, he'll be able to send you a menu. Or I'm pretty sure the menu's actually on there as well. So just go on there and have a look. And if um, not, you can ask for it yourself. Yeah, ask for it yourself, and then he'll send you it on all, all through and everything, and send you all his details. So. All good, and yeah, and I'm really, really happy with the selection that we've got. 
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to try his Laffy Taffy. Jesus Christ, we're fucking nutters. Um, Evie's not with us, she's in bed. Um, for the first time today, she's actually had a nap properly. Like She's been down a couple of times for like literally five ten minutes. Yeah, five, ten minutes here and there, if that. But she's actually gone down now, and it's been about 15 minutes, so I think the, I think the world's going to blow up at some point. Um, but I'm going to put you guys down the. No. No. Down there. There we go. Da, 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 da. While we eat, I'm going to laugh at it. So, we're going to see what flavours we get. Also, we've, we've both got a joke on us things, and we've both got the same jokes on them both, which is um, brilliant. So, let me just... They're the best jokes. Oh, yeah, especially one of them. They I... made me cry for laughter. Oh, yeah, 100%. I'll tell the um, I'll tell that one, because it actually fits with, with, the, oh. with the vlog. So, do you want to tell joke number 60? I wish it was 69, <laughs> but... Do you want to tell joke number 60? Yeah. Go on, then. This joke was going to be about a danger warming up. A danger? What? A, oh, a dancer warming up. Yeah, that one. But it was a stretch. Ha! <sighs> Comedy. Funnier than these YouTube videos. Still, yeah. Uh, but my joke... <laughs> this one actually kind of fits, fits the video a little bit. What starts with you? Yes, you. Hello. And ends with... <laughs> <laughs> Went with slang for a TV. YouTube. Hey! <laughs> right. Right. Oh, God. Time to actually this is a eat this. Have to. What, these? Yeah. Laffy Taffy's like. One no, of the... I mean, like. Oh, the mystery. No. Well, we've got two. Well, it looks like a giant crayon that's. That looks few, sick. A few crayons have merged together. Fuck it, I'm just gonna get my teeth on it. Yeah, mine's the same, I think, as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like strawberry and blueberry, maybe? Oh! Soft. Is it soft? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Right, that's a tough one. I expected it to be stronger. I mean, it's quite firm in the packaging, but when you get it out, it's... It's stupidly soft, like... Jesus, it's like gum. Like, I have to put no effort in to eat it. Jesus Christ. But it's quite nice. And for 50p... Can't really go wrong, really, can you? There is ob ob obviously. It tastes a little bit like crayons. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it tastes like chewing gum. Mine tastes a bit like crayons. By the way, you know the first race, I actually. I don't think there'll be any different. Ah. Yeah, they're exactly the same. You probably get a load of different mystery ones, but these are probably just out of the same pack. Yeah, they do. Um, Still nice though. Mm hmm. But you can get like. Um, like cherry, watermelon, I think. Oh, I'd love the watermelon. Well, I'm guessing, I don't know, I can't remember. Oh. i have to look on the menu. <laughs> Which, once again, is in the description below, so go check it out. Um, but yes. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, what's wrong with you? How can you not like sweets? Re, sweets are great. Or candy, if oh. you're American. Yeah, or, well, how are they going to go into the website and order... sweets. <laughs> well, they're gonna, how are they going to order from, from Meadowall? <laughs> Well, you never know, you might decide, oh, I'll start shipping to America because I'm a nice person. No. <laughs> no. Not when you deliver them by car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can drive that quick. I've been pressed. So, yeah. You've got a nice enough car to drive that quick. Well, you're true. So, yeah, we have eaten some of the sweets out of a box as well. We've had, like, just a cola bottles and stuff like that, and you've had, um, what have you got? Weird things. Yeah, these things. I don't know what they are exactly, but she loves well, they them. used to be called pencils. Did like, do you know the really long ones? No. They used to be called pencils. Never had them before, honestly. Some people say they taste, like, the inside is, like, pure sugar. And then the outside, some people don't like them because they taste like wax. I'm alright then, Tar. <laughs> that's only, like, some of them, but they actually don't taste like wax. Well, that's they right. They actually taste really good. Might have to try them later as well. Yeah. Also, I'll show you guys eventually when we actually do try the fluff. And I am so excited to eat these pop tarts. Also... I learned what that is on the back as well, where it says um, Stone Cold Tarts. So it turns out... Stone Cold Tessa. Yeah, because Stone Cold Tessa. <laughs> you read there, even though it's backwards, and the, I don't know if it'll be backwards for you guys, I'm not sure, but on there it's backwards. It says, Some people never toast them unless you count freezer bomb. Fully baked, freezer ready bomb. to eat. Yeah, freezer bomb. <laughs> you get freezer bomb, not freezer burn. Or, it says... Fully baked, ready to eat, or heat, or freeze, or stack. 
and I'm confused. Because it says here, you can freeze them. For 20 minutes. Yeah, for 20 minutes. And apparently people enjoy them like that. Who? Out there. Wait, the camera's that side. I'm an idiot. You! You out there. <laughs> the person that eats frozen pop tarts. Why? I decided to put a pop tart in the freezer and go, wait a minute, no, I want to eat it now. Keep it longer. Oh, yeah. Stoners. Okay. Stoners want everything instantly. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> come on. So, yeah. These are really... Like, whoever thought of that, whoever came up with that, why? I've got many questions. And can I please interview you and ask what is wrong with you? <laughs> because, no. I've heard of people, like, freezing apples. Maybe, and... maybe we'll try it with one and see and we'll, like, half it and see how it is. And see what the big rave's about. No, because I feel like it's just going to get watery. I don't know. We'll see. Might try one. Might be something to do over the next few days while we're literally locked in isolation. Hey! So, guys, you may see the um, very bright light that's shining in my face right now. You may be wondering, what the fuck is that bright light? It is the ecosystem. Um, I have got... I found a lamp for it upstairs that I forgot I completely had, actually. And I've got a white light for it, funnily enough. Um, and it works really well for uh, lighting up the um, ecosystem. Um, so, as you can see, it light, lights it up really well. But obviously, I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. So, yeah, as you can see, there is not, obviously, as much glare on the glass now. So, you can actually see in the actual ecosystem a little bit more. And obviously, it is a little bit difficult to see some stuff. Like, there is something literally right there right next to my finger and on my actual in in front of me it looks a lot brighter than it actually is um let me actually just turn the big light on actually because it might be a bit easy to see if i put this light on as well we shall see though just to give a bit more light around the room and it kind of helped oh wait you can actually see it because it's on the actual move now so yeah, there it goes, trying to hide from the light more than likely. So, over here, one of us, um, one second, that has gone really out of focus, there we go. One of our friends here has actually, unfortunately, passed away as well, one of the big boys. Um, I think a lot of the big ones, obviously, are passing away, which is understandable, but as you might be able to see around it, if I try and get a focus on it. Yes, yeah, so there you go. You might be able to see a little few like small things moving around in there, because uh, there is things actually feeding on it, which is quite, um, which is obviously just bound to happen in the ecosystem because that's the the way it is in there. That's how it actually naturally progresses because things pass, uh, uh, things die, but then more things thrive and stuff like that because it feeds off of that and stuff like that and creates algae, which obviously. The, thing, the microorganisms inside the ecosystem will also feed off as well, which will help them thrive. So everything, obviously, is thriving off of each thing dying. And obviously, they're just inevitable, really. It's just how it is in, inside of an ecosystem. So we'll give it a turn and see if we can spot some other stuff. Something's just fallen there off of the top. Not quite sure what that was exactly. See if we can spot something, anything else around this side. It's looking a bit quiet, but there is a lot of small stuff just running around in there. I think that a lot of them are running towards the light, obviously, and stuff like that. Uh, see, there is a lot of stuff like attached to the actual um, like bits of gr uh, matter in there, like the grass and stuff like that, and the roots and stuff like that that are hanging down. So there is a, that, a lot of that inside of the roots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. But hell, I can get really far in though on this actual ecosystem with this phone, and you can see a hell of a lot with inside of it, which is absolutely crazy. That wasn't even fully zoomed in. If I fully zoomed in, that's as close as I can get, and that is absolutely incredible how close I can actually get to that. That's madness. Christ, I might have better can actually get a really close zoom on some of the actual really small creatures in uh, inside the ecosystem. But I have also, if you have noticed as well, the other ecosystem is gone from the next next to here. Um, I am, I have put that one on the windowsill because I am going to let it um, get direct sunlight basically as an experiment to see what happens if I just put an old ecosystem in direct sunlight and uh, to see if it grows algae or not and 
to see if it can really, to see if it can grow plant life, because obviously if you give something direct sunlight, it grows plant life, so we'll see what happens with that one, and we'll see if anything happens there. But yes, yeah, so, so we'll keep focused on this one since we are looking at this one at the moment. Uh, let's see if we can spot some more little things or anything like that. I did see just something in front of my finger just around about here a minute ago, just moving around. Oh, there it is. See it just there. Just giving it, giving it a little bit of a swim. It's just at the end of my finger, if you can just spot that. See if I can get it zoomed in a little bit more. Where are you? Where are you gone? Not too sure, but there is obviously... Very small microorganisms, as I said, just floating around in there, chilling out, just relaxing. That you can just see slowly swimming around. But if you can, but yeah, look at that, how much detail there is just on the algae right there. I wonder if they're little, them little black specks. I wonder if they're anything at all. Focus, focus, there we go. But yeah, that focus though is incredible. And as I said, this is all just on a phone. Like, that's absolutely madness. Bloody hell. Well, anyway, I think that is... Oh, wait, no, we've got one more side. I don't think I've had a look around this side just yet. Let's have a look what this side is saying. There's all the bloody sticky stuff that was already on the jar. Oh, wait, yes, we have. We've been around every single side now because I quickly showed off this side when I was already around this side. See if we can spot anything within the insides of any of this. Hmm, nothing too, too much. There is some stuff like... Just falling about and stuff like that, maybe swimming about. You can see some very, very small, minuscule stuff though in there that I can see moving about, but they are absolutely tiny. Hmm. So I might have to. Um, I'm thinking about going back um, with another jar at some point as well. I'm thinking about ordering a jar off Amazon and uh, going back with a big jar at some point in the near future, and uh, hopefully find uh, getting getting a large amount of water, then we can. Properly be able to see it, and hopefully I'll get something like around this big. Right, guys, it's still quite early in the morning the next day, and um, I need to outdraw this vlog. It's currently about uh, ten o'clock, half ten, I believe. I'm not too sure on the exact time. It is half past ten. There we go. So it is um, still quite early for me to do in this outro, actually. But I thought I'd crack on with it, this uh, edit today and actually just get it done with, and then I can just get it uploaded for later, and then I have to think about it for a, a good few hours. <clears throat> but yeah. I have come to the decision that I believe that I'm going to be changing um, my channel name. Um, having it as 30 but is all good and all, but I don't just do stuff focusing on me anymore. I do stuff that focuses on just obviously me, but obviously my family as well. Um, and me and my partner both want to start like uploading uh, gaming videos ourselves to the actual channel together as well, but we also want to do solo stuff as well, so say Kim wants to upload to the channel by herself. And I want to upload to the channel, but myself we both can do. And then maybe when Evie gets older as well, we can upload, like, say if I could upload a video with Evie, and then Kim can upload a video with Evie, or all of the family and stuff like that. Then obviously the vlogs can still continue and stuff like that. So then we can all kind of do his own thing on the channel in a sense. So I'm thinking about changing the channel name to uh, The Teapot Family. Um, so it, we are just a collective group of just big teapots, basically. <laughs> and then we have... Evie, who is the little teacup, basically, is what we're going to call Evie's, Evie the teacup, um, which would be quite cute. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comments below. If you think it's a good change or not, um, let me know, because I just think it'd be a nice change and it'd fit in the channel web, channel brand, if you get what I mean, a little bit more. Uh, so, yeah. Hope, uh, if you do, if you guys, like I said, do like it, just do let me know. Um, anyway, guys, also, um, yesterday's video did absolutely brilliantly in such a short space of time so thank you to everyone who watched the video yesterday and and if you did subscribe from that video thank you very much we are very very close to 175 subscribers we did hit it yesterday but we did loot go back um, below it <clears throat> which does happen sometimes it just it's just inevitable sometimes because youtube just randomly deletes accounts like that and uh, i can just occasionally randomly lose subs so i've gone below 175 again but I was, I was there for a bit, and I appreciate that I was there for a bit, a little bit. Um, so, thank you guys uh, as well for that. But if you can get me back up to 175, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you have been watching the content, make sure you do subscribe because it does help massively. And we, we all of us, not just me, really, really appreciate it. So anyway, guys, 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry it's been a really long vlog today. If you haven't made it all the way through this nearly half an hour vlog, I really do appreciate it. I think it's longer than half an hour, actually. So thank you very much for watching it all. But anyway, guys, I shall see you in tomorrow's video at 5 p.m. Peace.